Lil Yachty announced this week that he and James Blake, of all people, are set to release a joint full-length album together titled Bad Cameo. Now, how far back have they been working on this thing, and what could we possibly expect from a creative collision between these two artists? We're going to break that down here. What's up, y'all? I'm Devon here again for Obligatory. We do a weekly music news segment on this channel every single Friday. Today is February 16, 2024, and at the end of these episodes, we always have our new releases and editor's picks and upcoming albums for next week, next month, and for the rest of the year. So stay tuned for that. 2024, already throwing us the works because who the hell had this album on their bingo card i mean you you could have if you were paying attention james blake posted a picture of the two of them in the studio last year i would not have been that surprised about them working on a song or a single together but a whole album definitely caught me a bit off guard but as we know yadi and blake are both extremely willing to cross over and work with artists where it seems like opposites are attracting for instance we saw yadi on the recent faye webster single lego ring and we also heard that he has some unreleased music with fred again james blake on the other hand has worked with everybody from beyonce to jay ID and Metro Boomin to Andre 3000, either as a vocalist or a songwriter or producer, etc. The announcement comes directly from Yachty in a video where he vaguely talks about the album. He posted this to Instagram and it was a shared post with James Blake, so we got that confirmation from both parties and not a lot of information about the album other than it's real and it's coming soon, they say. Now, how soon, do you ask? I mean, they've been working on this thing probably for about a year together. I mean, it's very possible that this is a finished album or a project they're putting the finishing touches on and releasing sooner rather than later. Again, this picture of them in the studio was posted in March of last year, and then James Blake was also featured in an interview with DIY Magazine posted in September of last year, uh, talking about a time in which they were working together or hanging out, and then they went out for a night in London. So the timeline is kind of suggesting that they've had a couple times of working together or hanging out together to plan this thing. At the end of the video that they posted to announce this album, it says CMYK presents Bad Cameo full-length studio album, blah, blah, blah. Last summer, Blake was doing CMYK DJ sets in various places, and in one of these, he did play some unreleased Yachty music that was in, like, August. CMYK is also the title of an EP that Blake released in 2010. There is also a CMYK group Instagram account now that is shared all the information that's been shared about this album. Yachty, as we know, turned a new leaf last year in releasing Let's Start Here, which was a pretty divisive album, uh, but definitely featured his rap and pop sensibilities mixed with genuine neo-psychedelia and guitar music in somewhat of a Tame Impala or even Eve's Tumor type capacity. Since then, he's been making a point to show off his range of interests and different sounds, while James Blake, on the other hand, has kind of gone back to his roots in a sense with his latest release, Playing Robots Into Heaven. It's an instrumental album that features like UK club music, future garage, UK bass, dubstep type stuff. And so the possibilities for whatever this ends up being are truly somewhat endless. And thankfully, we won't have to probably wait very long to figure out what it is. It seems it's coming sooner rather than later. And you know, we'll be keeping you updated on things moving forward. But that's kind of the information we have for now. Then we got another pleasant surprise. This one's for my Injury Reserve fans out there. Richie, the vocalist for the group By Storm, formerly known as Injury Reserve, announced this week that he's releasing a debut solo effort, and we got a single along with the announcement. Now, the announcement came in the form of a message to fans posted to Instagram in which he stated that he and Parker Corey are continuing to work on their first album as By Storm, and that he's been simultaneously putting together solo material as sort of a release valve for his own creative process, specifically saying that he and Corey put really high expectations and ambitions into their creative process working as a group, and sometimes that's intimidating, sometimes that's a bit defeating, and so these songs were made as sort of a lower stakes outlet for some of the ideas that he had been coming up with, which I think you hear really well in this debut single titled Richie Valens. It makes a ton of sense. Uh, the final Injury Reserve album didn't feature as much of the traditional rap verses from Richie that he's so good at, and we saw in projects like loss or in their self-titled. Again, he's a very skilled rapper and entertaining to hear. Uh, to me, there's always something about an artist that continues to push the bar higher and higher and always put out something very ambitious and new for them to then turn around and in a way kind of lower the bar back down and in a way just put the game on easy mode. The song title Richie Valens, if you're like me and didn't already know this piece of music history, is an artist that is seen as a forefather of the Chicano rock and roll music of the 50s and was influential in a lot of music that would come 
after him. Uh, he's most popularly known for the version of La Bamba that we all kind of know and love. He was only 17 years old and eight months into his music career when he died in a plane crash along with another budding rock and roll superstar in Buddy Holly. The whole story surrounding that night and that plane crash is really crazy. It's really interesting. Most notably, he actually flipped a coin with someone who already had a seat on this four seat plane and uh, the rest is just kind of history from there. With that, it seems we are getting this Richie music soon and by Storm music possibly later on. Uh, Matt Champion of the group Brock Hampton, who officially disbanded in 2022, dropped his first debut solo single since the disbandment of the group titled Aphid. And this song features Dijon, who I love. Um, if you haven't listened to his 2021 album, absolutely. It is fantastic. I recommend it. As of this particular moment, I haven't heard concrete news about an album release. That is exactly what seems like is happening right now. Matt is still signed to RCA as a solo act. And again, that's really the only concrete information that we have so far. But if you go to the Matt Champion website, you'll find a pre-order for a t-shirt with this design on it. It's titled the Puddling T with this tagline, let it all sink in, screen printed on the front. The pre-orders for this shirt are scheduled to ship on March 28th. That's a day before Friday, March 29. So is that a hint towards a potential release date or a window for releasing? Again, purely speculation on my part. I do not have concrete details about any of that. If that is the case, then we are definitely getting information on this soon. Then this week, we also got some hip hop related TV news going on. You know, while Donald Glover is on Prime Video with his new role in the Mr. and Mrs. Smith re reboot TV series. We've got another rap related TV series out in the form of situational comedy. The Vince Staples Show is out now. In a recent Friday episode, we we broke down the history of the Vince Staples show. It's an idea Vince has had for a long time and it initially started out as sort of a music video YouTube series. He was rolling that out just before the onset of the 2020 pandemic. It went pretty quiet since then and has now shown up again as a bigger, better five-part miniseries produced by Netflix. Now, I'm still a little salty at Netflix for kicking me out of my dad's account, so I haven't seen it. But I also just recently broke up with HBO Max, so... You know, I'm a free agent. Maybe this is just the kind of thing to pull me back in. Uh, have you seen the show yet? Let me know down in the comments if you like it, if it's worth me buying Netflix again to go see it. Flying Lotus, also, if you've been paying attention to him, he's been doing less of like producing albums and working on strictly music. He's been doing more film stuff lately. And then we got news that a film that he is directing and producing starring Aaron Paul was purchased by Prime Video for like a lot of money too. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's one of their biggest acquisitions. Again, this is a film, a sci-fi thriller that uh, he says it is currently in post-production. So they filmed it and they're they're working on putting it out on whatever timeline. Record Store Day 2024 is coming up and the lineup has been announced via the official Record Store Day website. You can go on there. We have that link down in the description if you want to see all the exclusive vinyl releases that are coming to vinyl stores across America. But a couple interesting things I saw, Little Uzi Vert's Love is Rage is getting its first pressing on vinyl and then Young Thug's Jeffrey is getting a repress. Uh, those vinyls have been really really valuable and soaring in value over the recent years they've been a little hard to find let me know if there's anything you're particularly excited and looking forward to getting your hands on when you go this year and that is all the news stories we have for this week now are our notable new releases and editors picks for this week february 16 a pretty decent album release week with a new idols album as well as serpent with feet if you like r&b yeet if you like turned up hyper trap stuff but it's really the singles that came in prominently and prolifically this week with of course the two new beyonce singles a new dua lipa single tiara whack matt champion as we mentioned two new vampire weekend singles as well uh the richie single that we talked about schoolboy q dropped a new video he's dropped two last week that didn't get single releases 101 does have a single release along with with the video but uh, top to bottom the single releases for this week were really pretty top notch then we got our albums announced this week which of course is headlined by beyonce renaissance act two pearl jam also announcing their new album dark matter i particularly am looking forward to new albums by baby mother and fortet albums releasing next week are looking pretty good as well mgmt is one that i've been looking forward to for the entire year so far march is definitely looking like the month of music 
so far this year. Kicking the month off on March 1st, we get albums from Mannequin Pussy, Mad Lib and Kareem Riggins, Jay Webster, and Schoolboy Q. Following week, we're going to get an Ariana Grande album. The week after that, we're going to get Chuck Strangers, Tira Wack, Fortet, and more. Later in the month, we're getting Adrian Lenker of Big Thief, Shabazz Palaces, and of course, Beyonce to end the month. Finally, we wrap up with our albums releasing the rest of the year. So April moving all the way into early June. So check out the full list on your screen. And that is all we have for today's Friday show. You're watching to the end of the video. I know you fuck with us. I really appreciate you. Here's two videos that I think you should definitely know about because we're doing some Black History Month music content on this channel. Last week, we released a video, 10 Black Indie and Hardcore Bands or Artists that you should definitely know about. Please do us a favor and check that out. But another Black History Month video that we're working on, it's coming here in a few days, is going to be hip hop albums for those of you who think that hip hop is dead. Albums from 2020 to 2024 that we think are showing that hip hop is not only alive right now, but it has a very bright future. So that's coming soon. We got one out already. Check that out. And thanks again so much for watching. We're going to be back here again with another Friday video next Friday, bringing you the news. We do this every week. Clicking the like button or dropping a comment is probably the best way to get us put back in your feed when we drop another video. And we'll be back soon for you. All right. Peace.